Listen up guys, this is it. Yamaha recently loaned us this brand spanking new 2021 Yamaha MT-09 SP right behind me. So we figured we'd compare it to the base MT-09, which is also brand new for this model year. Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the extra cash? Who knows? I don't, but I'm gonna do my best to show you the differences and give you my opinion. So hopefully, if you're in the market, you'll have a better idea of what you're looking at. And with the SP model, you're looking at a lot. First off, 2021 brings us the third generation of the MT-09, and there are a ton of changes from the last model year. 90% of the bike is new for 2021, and it shows. Here's a quick list of the differences between the 2020 and the 2021 model. First off, we have the all new CP3 engine. Yamaha has increased the displacement of one of our favorite triples from 847 cc's to a beastly 890 cc's. That displacement makes way for the CP3 engine to produce 6% increase in torque and using a newfound power to take some of the stress off the components, allowing it to increase the MT-09's fuel efficiency 11%. It has a new intake manifold designed for better inflow. There is a new intake and exhaust camshafts that help for efficiency in extracting extra power from that displacement. There's a new cam chain for reduced wear and engine noise. There's a new cam chain tensioner to keep up with that cam chain in working order. A newly designed cylinder head to house all of those newly redesigned parts. In the transmission, we find all new gearing, a new slipper clutch, a new clutch plate, a new clutch disc material, all of that to withstand the abuse of the slipper clutch and the quick shifters can create. There's a new exhaust totally redesigned from the head's back. It's now exits from the bottom of the bike instead of the sides, not only for a difference in sound and tone, but also saving your legs from getting too hot. We don't want any Panigale situations. So the engine and exhaust are 3.747 pounds lighter. A new mainframe and a subframe helps with torsional rigidity and flex, thus creating a more stable and sporty feel. This next addition is something we haven't seen in a bike at this price point for a long, long while. Fact adjustable riding ergonomics. The handlebar mounts can be flipped between forward and up positions or a lower and further back. The rear sets can be adjusted up and to the rear, which is unheard of for a bike in this price range. The third generation MT-09 finally solves the main problem that the previous model needed so badly, a new adjustable KYB forks and rear shock. We'll touch on this again in a minute for the SP model though. So for other modifications, we got the wheels being lighter, rounder, and wheelier. New brakes, it's lost eight pounds Overall, as we stated, the engine being 3.7 pounds lighter, the new frame and the rest of the running gears brings the total weight dropping down to eight pounds. It's got brake masters, ABS, and brake technology all from the 2020 R1. So let's talk about electronics package on the 2021 MT-09 because it's massive. It is the most significant R1 derived piece this year. It comes with a plethora of cool features, but I'll list them quickly as we'll touch on them later in the video. It's got a six axis IMU, traction control, slide control, lift control, which can we all just, can we just call it wheelie control? I know manufacturers don't want to promote wheelieing, but it's not lift control. Or if you're Harley, it's lift mitigation. Isn't that what they call it? Front wheel lift mitigation. It's wheelie control, guys, come on. Anyway, we've got drive modes, we've got a new quick shift system and a new TFT display, and it's also got LED lighting. Now you guys wanna know the craziest thing? This new base model is only $400 increase over the 2020 model. That's honestly shocking for how many updates this thing has. Okay, so those are our differences between the 2020 and the 2021 model. So let's take a look at what the SP brings to the table for this 2021 model. So in comparison to the 2020 model, the CP3 engine is totally different. This engine is leaps and bounds better than the outgoing version of the CP3, but this iteration improves on nearly every category. But as far as we're concerned today, both the MT-09 and the MT-09 SP share the exact same engine. Now now we gotta talk about suspension. From a visual perspective, there are some pretty clear differences. Black versus gold being the main visual cue. Although the front forks are both from KYB, there are three major differences between the two sets. First being the most obvious, the color of the forks themselves. The standard MT-09 has the classic black and silver forks, while the MT-09 SP features this beautiful gold on the outer fork tube. The second and third apply more to some of the features of the two sets. The standard MT-09 does have preload, compression, and rebound adjustments, 
they are spread between the two forks. Where on the SP, both forks can be adjusted for preload and rebound just like the standard forks, the difference comes in the form of being able to dial in both high speed and low speed compression. All of those adjustments can be made on both forks independently from each other, which for you big track guys out there comes as a massive blessing as the more adjustments you can make, the better you can truly dial it in. That is not nearly the only difference in the suspension on these bikes. The standard MT-09 comes with a KYB rear shock. The SP on the other hand really brings the MT-09 suspension into a world of track and mountain weapons with a remote reservoir equipped three-way adjustable Olin shock. So you can really get that compression, rebound, and preload settings exactly where you need them and easily. Next difference between these two is the addition of the glorious feature cruise control ladies and gentlemen the wrist saver is finally coming to the mt09 via the sp model yamaha typically reserves cruise control for their pricier end of their lineup so to see this in a middleweight giggle machine is quite nice so let's talk about the most obvious change between the standard mt09 and the mt09 sp the looks Derived from the R1M, there are quite a few stylistic changes that the SP brings to the table. Personally, I love the gold forks and how they contrast with the darkness of the frame, engine, and the tank. Also, can we all just agree that the coating on these forks that makes them not look like that typical silver looks so good. The swing arm looks kind of unique and cool, but personally, I don't really have to have that brushed aluminum look. I'm sure some of you guys out there really like it. Last but not least, the money, money, money. The base model MT-09 MSRP is $9,399. If you want to upgrade to the SP model, that's going to cost you $10,999. For the money, I'm not sure you could find a better value for the SP package. This thing is well worth it as it is far cheaper than the sum of its parts. The $1,600 price difference is nothing to scoff at. On the contrary, given the upgraded KYB forks and the rear shock, those two pieces alone are going to be worth more than the $1,600 in cash that it would take to swap to the SP model. The cruise control and the sweet graphics are just a bonus at that point. All right, guys, so there you go. The MT-09 versus the MT-09 SP detailed, compared, and contrasted. <laughs> I can't even say that seriously. We've talked about the 2020 to the 2021 generation changeover, how the standard MT and the SP are similar in most ways, and last but not least, how the SP offers an insane value for those seeking the most out of their little giggle machines. With the upgraded suspension, graphics, cruise control, and general hooliganism, you can't go wrong with either, honestly. But but if I had to choose, there is no doubt in my mind that I will be on that SP every single day of the week, if not anything, but for cruise control. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button for us and subscribe for more motorcycle content here on the Chase on Two Wheels channel. We make a ton of it, and we got even more coming for you. Y'all ride safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Outro crew, thank you for making it to the outro crew. If it's your first time, you're in the outro crew because you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. We love you guys a little bit longer. Also, outro crew, make sure to hit that like button, even though I know you already did, and let us know, are you taking the MT-09 and having the extra 1600 to mod it like you want, or are you going straight to the SP? You guys know what I'm doing? Interested in what you guys are gonna do in the comments down below? We love you guys a little bit longer. We'll see y'all on the next one. Also, what do you guys think about scripted content? I feel like I just read that pretty well. Like, I feel pretty confident in my reading abilities right now. Started out strong, got a little flounder in the middle, ended strong. That's, I hire people that are honest, and unfortunately for me. And that's pretty much how you live your life. Bo, you want to come say hey to the outro crew? Bo's in the middle of editing a first ride, so... What do you think about the SP? It's got a fat front end. Like, compared to the back end of this bike, I think when you're sitting on it, that tank is just like... <laughs> Bo, are you fat shaming the MT-09 SP? I can do that. Cheers to being canceled. It's been a minute since I've written the script. Or writ, writ, written? No, writ, written? Written? My opinion, so hopefully you'll end the market and you'll be a better idea of what you're looking at. With Breathe! The... <sighs> okay. <Ew. coughs> so, we figured we'd... Why is it not scrolling now? The base model MTO... It's not... It literally is not scrolling. Which, for you big guys... For you big guys. <laughs> Stand in the stand in the block. Yeah, just do that though. Just do this. Uh, not another T pose. <laughs>